morning students of JBM Global School, Noida. I'm your snooker and chess instructor Manoj Tiagi. So in my lesson number 7 today, I'll be telling you about how to start the game or how to make the beginning moves. Okay. Let's get started. These four squares are very important. If you can take your control over these four squares then it will be good for you. Generally, in the first 10 moves, you have to develop your pieces rather than focus on capturing the pieces. So how do you develop your pieces? As you know, the first move is made by the white. So the white will move two steps and try to regain the control over this this particular square these four squares are very important if you can take control or if you can have supremacy on these four squares then you will have a lot of control in the game so now first the white has moved so now the black will move so these two over here nothing can be done about it they cannot be captured so in the next move, the white might move another two steps to make a pawn duo. This is called a pawn duo. On these squares, especially these ranks, one, two, three, four. Four and fifth rank, generally you'll find pawn duos. If not in over here, then some somewhere over here, somewhere over here, somewhere over here. So these pawn duos are very important. Now this pawn although can be captured by my black pawn but I will not do that because we have to develop the pieces first rather than focus on capturing the pieces. So I will also move two steps or what I can do instead of moving this I can protect my this pawn from there from the white pawn capturing my black pawn I can move my knight on this square so now you see if the white pawn captures my black pawn my knight will capture this pawn so similarly if I would like to capture the white pawn so the white will also make a move to protect this white pawn and at the same time attack my pawn, black pawn. So this is how every move should be protected by some piece and it should be attacking some piece. So now I will also make a pawn duo because I, I can afford that right now. The reason being if this pawn captures my black pawn then I can overtake it with the queen and there is no other piece which can the queen can take my uh, my queen can be captured. So all said now whose turn is it? Achha. Uh I think it's the vice turn white black white black is the white turn i think so this white bishop can be moved up till over here and of course if you don't make if you make a move and then you come back you are actually delaying the process the other forces will keep on come moving fast so there is a sort of a uh, you have to adjust the timings also you cannot waste your moves like you put it over here and then i force you back like i put my pawn over here and because you cannot capture the, uh, my this pawn because you wouldn't like to capture so again you will go back so this is a wastage and i'll i'll have i'll keep on advancing and you will keep on wasting time so so don't make moves 
which can be which you have to retrace back but i will not do so in this case because i'll i'll think of something else what i will do suppose if you try to capture my so uh, this night i will try to capture your bishop with my bishop if you do that so i have a protection i have a double protection to my knight one from this pawn and one from this knight because this bishop is facing my king so i have to be very careful okay so next the white can move and try to attack my queen diagonally so what i will do i will keep a knight in between and now i can also attack the king if i want i can see a check to the king and again most probably you will try to put your knight in in between and now i'll get time to make a uh castling because castling makes the king more safer so i'll do the castling i'll move it to two steps one two and the rook over here similarly your right side will also try to do the castling see now all your pieces almost are now in position to attack so this is how the beginning is made without much of uh, capturing the pieces but to develop the pieces like they should not be uh, hidden by these pawns or something they should be there in the front line to make attacks because this is the beginning of the game and this is how you start the game and you develop your pieces as much as you can in the first 9 or 10 moves after that you will come to the middle game where you will start attacking the pieces and try to capture the king and then there will be an end game where final a checkmate has to be given somehow or maybe it can end in a stalemate or a draw but uh, these three stages are important in the game one is the first beginning how you make your debut how you develop your pieces and uh, secondly will come the middle game and thirdly will come the end game so first let us focus more on the beginning how to how to start the game so this was one model which i have shown you so there can be another model i'll keep the keep i'll keep the pieces back there can be more models there is a thing called king's gambit in a king's gambit you move the white makes a move over here and the black moves this pawn over here and immediately after that a pawn is kept over here for either for either to be accepted like if i accept it that i'll, I'll capture it or i'll decline i will do something else so this is called a king's gambit there is another way of moving your making your pawn duo is by a queen's gambit a pawn in front of the queen is move two steps and i will also try to stop it over there after that the pawn duo will be made over here for me either if i want to capture or if i want to create my own duo so that depends 
so now you understand what is the king's gambit and what is the queen's gambit gambit means a move made for for some advantage so again i'll keep these pieces back and let me now try to make a pawn duo uh, first the white will move i'll try to move from the king's gambit over here and i'll also make my pawn come on this square because these four squares are very important for you to keep on taking the control as much as you can and after this suppose if white moves for a king's gambit so to protect this pawn what i can do i can put my knight over here this is how i'll develop develop my pieces and to protect this pawn i would like to uh, move my this pawn forward or uh, do something else or just move it one step forward so that it is protected by my uh, it is protected by suppose you have white and i have black it is protected by your white uh, bishop so now comes my chance so i will would take out my knight this knight over here and this will be sort of attacking this this pawn but during the developing stage we do not try to capture we do it in the middle stage in the middle game so after this the white will also come out with his knight because the knights they come out fast it's easy for the knights to come out and we'll make way for these bishops so to make a pawn i might also suppose if i move this pawn then it will be blocking my uh, bishop so what i will do i will try to take it out as soon as possible and develop my uh, black bishop and it is protected by my knight at the same time now since my bishop has been dweller i would like uh, you would also like to develop your uh, bishop you can come over here if you want this is another model of how you can start after this my this bishop remains to be dweller so i can move one step now and you can take out your knight and i can again develop my black bishop so that if you move your knight then this queen will be captured so and like it won't be a wise thing to exchange a queen with a bishop i'll tell you there are uh, these pawns carry one points each and the knight and the bishop they carry only three points each and the rooks carry five points and the queen carries nine points so you'll have to take care although it doesn't affect uh, the game can be won with very less points on the uh, this chessboard but still you will have to you should be consider uh, considering these uh, points into your mind like you cannot lose your points unnecessarily for example you cannot lose a point by uh, capturing your some white pawn with my black bishop and ultimately uh, getting my black bishop captured so what i'll be gaining is just one point and uh, losing three points similarly we'll have, i'll have to we both sides will have to protect these rooks because they carry five points each 
and the queen the, these are the major pieces and these can be exchanged a knight with a bishop can be exchanged it will it will not make much difference difference because all uh, all of these carry three point bishop also carries the three point and a knight also carries three points and so but you have you have to be careful that you do not exchange a bigger piece with a pawn you know do not exchange a bigger piece with a, a major piece with a smaller piece a minor piece because uh, the rooks and the queen are major pieces and the knights and bishops are minor pieces so i think now till the time i do some castling uh, i think it's the vice turn so it can move the white bishop can move away over here and i would like to do the castling on this part and the uh, white will also like to do the castling so now in these nine ten moves all the pieces have been developed for attacking so this is how this is another model i have shown you all these pieces are at a different location and but again this is how the things have started rolling and this is how the beginning has been made a debut has been made so there are hundreds of ways in which you can make your debut in which you can make a beginning and uh, uh, slowly you will learn from uh, time to time with experience that which are the best moves you can make in your beginning and where you do not come into a pitfall or get trapped unnecessarily so uh, one more piece can be one more uh, can be developed in white case a queen can be brought over here and in my case also a queen can be a uh, queen can be brought over here and it can be it can have a double force I can also use my double force but then I don't uh, this my pawn will be unprotected so I will not like to use that I will do something else maybe I like to move this pawn forward and make all these pawns comfortable so this is another model of uh, the beginning so I hope you now you understand how a beginning is made a beginning is made by developing the pieces for the middle game for the attack and finally for the end game where the this game will end by capturing one of the kings see you next time with my next lesson and until then take care stay home stay safe